Hey everyone. Well, coming to you from a room we've never been in before. But I'm coming so that I can tell you publicly how amazing my husband is. Yeah. The, the reason I married him is because he's faithful. He was faithful to his first wife, Rhonda, for so many years through hardship. He proved himself to be a man of godly character, a man of integrity, <clears throat> and he's done the same thing in our marriage. This man treats me like a treasure. Even when I have felt like I've blown it. You haven't. You are a treasure. He treats me like a treasure. He cherishes me. And, you know, we have very different personalities. If you know the Enneagram, I'm a type 8. He's a type 2. And um, there could have been so many times that uh, he would have been able to say to me, Oh, Carla Ann, you're just too much. <laughs> but, you know, he's always been super gracious. And he's seen the, the parts of me that are in my heart that many people refuse to see. And how beautiful. And he's a man who sees beyond what other people see. If you've been Scott's <laughs> friend, you know that he he sees and he observes. And I think there's been times that maybe Scott's felt maybe like he didn't have all the things and the opportunities and maybe even all the like wherewithal to do the things that many other people did, you know, just with business and finance and all the things that kind of go on in the world and that matter to most people. But I want to tell you that this is a man of high value. There are many people who make it in this world with all kinds of dollars in their pocket. But this man has compassion. I've never met a more compassionate man a man who sees the truth and, and wants to live it out. A man who's faithful and who's taken my kids and loved them. I've seen how he loves his kids. He talks about them all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, he dreams about, you know, them getting married and yeah. having more yeah. children and grandchildren. and Well, not more children, just grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> We're done with the children part. Yeah. But, you know, as we... I want you to know that this has been a difficult journey. And it does appear that the tumors are growing and multiplying. Scott can't eat. He hasn't been able to eat for a few days. Hasn't been able to take medication, which complicates matters even more. Um, tonight, the doctor told us that it's because of the tumors uh, likely growing. So um, things are getting really hard really hard. We were so blessed by our church this morning who just came around us and without yeah. even a plan or us knowing about it, they loved on us. They prayed for us. And um, it was beautiful. It was very Thank beautiful. you, Pastor Rob. And um, we just know that uh, we married each other because we loved each other and we were mm -hmm. very good friends. Our personalities are different and yet it's because of the love of God and the grace and the things we've learned. You know, this man is patient with me mm -hmm. and he loves me even though I'm different than he is. And when you just think what this, what your spouse just, what does he need? Well, this mm -hmm. guy needs me to touch his bald head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he needs just me rub, to love him, just, just to rub his arm, rub I his back. He loves it. And you know, if that's all it takes, find I just want to encourage you, if you're married, find the little things that your spouse loves and then just do those things to remind them that you do love them. This man uh, has so many, most nights, rubbed my back at night. It's kind of like the thing we do. We talk at night like best friends, like we're in high school till way too late. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and just rub her back. Yeah. And you know, 
we have been peaceful together. We have peace in the Lord, knowing where mm -hmm. he's going. Yeah. And today, um, we've just been praying that uh, if the Lord wants to heal him, we're still open. But we also know that there's a beautiful day coming for him. I'm what starting you? to feel sick again. Okay. We might have to cut this short. Scott's not feeling very well. But just want you to know, Scott's an amazing man. And I wanted him to know for all the world, I love you, Scott. Marrying you was a very good decision. Best ever. Best. We love you guys. Keep watching. Keep praying for us. This man's going on a journey. We don't know where it's going to end right now. But we know that the Lord has told him through scripture and promises that when that day comes, it's Jesus or the Father are going to meet him at the pearly gates. He's not going to meet any angels or, yeah, or Peter. I'm not interested in Peter. I just want <laughs> Jesus and the Father. Yeah. yeah, he's not interested in meeting Peter. He's like, I don't know who Peter is. Peter doesn't know me. Just take me to Jesus. So we're having those conversations. This is a hard journey. I'm going to miss him. But we know where he's going. And it's going to be good. It's going to be a good place. So we'd appreciate your prayers. I love you all. I love you all. Thank you for walking with me.